Next card is for Libras. Mm, six of Wands. I love that, Libra. Okay, so like Libra is the sign of relationship, right? And Libras, in I would say over all other signs, struggle with being alone the most, struggle to not define themselves through relationship, through friendships, through partnerships the most. Um, and so, and something that's interesting about signs that are one sign apart from one another, they have the most to learn from one another. So while Virgo is very comfortable in asserting its own, it's basically its dominance in uh, the stuff that leads us forward, you know, and we need to learn humility from that. What, what Libra needs to learn is the ability to, to step into that and to recognize that actually choosing to move in alignment with what works for you, you know, the thing that's driving you forward, your passions, your desires, this is actually w the healing that is required for, you know, a, a, a shadow tendency, typical um, Libra codependent to really step forward in the next phase of their lives, you know, so that what I was meaning to say, and I think that was a little too layered and to be clear, but when a Libra is not developed and not integrated with themselves, they tend to enter into codependent relationships and agreements with other beings because their desire to connect and, and, and relate is so deep and to be in deep partnership and to balance their own personal scales with somebody outside of themselves because it's so deep, you know, like it, it can be hard not to be like not to be malleable, not to continue to wait around and um, look for someone else to lead the way. But this, the Six of Wands is all about when we connect to the thing that is driving us forward, when we, you know, put aside the fact that there have been so many conflicting energies telling us we'd be better at this, we'd do more, be more successful at that, you know, we'd be more desirable if we were on this path, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's like Five of Wands energy. That's all the conflict. That's all the noise. So what we must do, Libra, to balance that out is to really connect, really connect to what's inside of ourselves. And when we connect to that and we start just forget the past, just start moving in honor of that. You can't see it because of my funny little color filter here. But this white horse, white horse is ex like... They exemplify a new era, moving towards a new era. This white horse is like basically head to toe or neck to toe um, dressed in green, which is abundance. So you moving in honor of your passion, head forward, not looking at the past, not worrying about everybody else's opinion and energy. This is going to like launch you into a new way of being. It's going to be a way more abundant way of being. There's a victory in you pursuing yourself for maybe the first time ever or in a really, really determined way. And as a result, you're going to stimulate the kind of energy and the whoosh. Think about like any vehicle that goes really, really fast. What do they do? They create kind of a, you know, a tunnel, a wind tunnel that pulls things in along with them. That's the idea here. Like when you truly connect to and start honoring what you desire, what your passions are, what you want to be aimed at, you are going to attract energy that's aligned with you to you. You won't be alone. Clarify yourself in that understanding that when you fully claim who you are, and you live in honor of that, you're going to attract the right types of people to you sooner. Will you go through periods of time where it feels like you're totally alone? Absolutely. And you got to get cool with that. Again, we're in a hanged man year. But like, even though you're going to wait for it, that is what is required for you to really step into finding the people that you are aligned with. 